Tell us what you guys did. Okay, so our cards were, they started together and there's like a spring on one of them. And then we like hit a button and the spring like pushed them apart. Okay, can you demonstrate that for us? So you push it in and up. <laughs> now, do they move apart at the same speed? No. No. Which one's faster? The one that's lighter. Yeah, it's actually that it's less massive. It happens to be lighter also. But remember, mass is the resistance to change in motion. Okay, so what was, it, what was the energy situation then? So in the beginning, it was all elastic energy because it was all in the spring. And then in the end, it was kinetic energy. And we had it like split for each part. And then to like get the values for the elastic and the kinetic, we actually started by getting the kinetic energy for each card. Um, and then after we got those, we added it together to get the elastic energy. And this is just like the really long decimal points. I just like shortened them up here. Um, and then to get the M delta V, we got the same for each card, but one was negative and one was positive. So you're saying the M delta V for cart B was positive 0.166, and for cart A was negative 0.166. Yes. So this is an interesting idea, okay? And I'm wondering if it's an idea that can carry over. If you calculate this M delta V for both cars, you're saying it's the number's the same, but one's positive, one's negative. So we, so we say those are equal, but opposite. That's an interesting idea. Now, we can't say like it happens one time and we're going to say, oh, one time, that's a rule. But if we continue to see that in, in multiple of these, I wonder if it's a rule that we can, that we can kind of say like, oh, I wonder if that's a rule. Is that cool? Okay, what did you boys do? Um, all right, we uh, did it with the carts with the button. You click the button and they both push apart. Okay, let me see the demonstration, so. So what do you guys notice about your speeds? Uh, that originally A started at zero, mm -hmm. and B started at, um, or the final for B was negative point. They both started at zero, or initial. And then uh, for part B, the velocity final ended up being negative 0.374, and then for the M delta V for B. Well, hold on. Did they move away at the same speed is the question? Yes. So same speed, but opposite directions? Yes. OK. So let's see your board. OK, so did you calculate the M delta Vs? Yes. We calculated the M delta V for B. And what did we get? Um, it was like 1 point, negative 1 point. 0 0.187. What about the, the M delta V for A? I think, yeah, I did that wrong because I forgot to. But. So the initial velocity was 0. What's the final velocity for A? It's going to be uh, negative 0.374. Yeah, so why don't you fix that real quick? It was a typo.
to call point zero eight. So so call point so the speed of this one after is point two one. And so this one's also point two one. Now the velocity of this one is negative point two one because I think it goes back, right? So we get a negative velocity there. Okay. Um, okay. So here we go. You guys ready? So what was the m delta v for your car a? Um, the m delta v was the total ended up being negative point one eight seven. That was for b. Uh, yeah, it's the same. So wouldn't it be the same because the final velocity final is the same as uh, b? So the cars have the same speed, but do they have the same velocity is the question. What's the difference between those two ideas? What's the difference between speed and velocity? Speed is how fast it goes. So is velocity for that matter. What's the difference between them? It does, right? Velocity shows what direction it's going. So what is the velocity for car A then is going to be positive point, uh, positive point 0.374, correct? Yeah. So now let's compare. What's the m delta v for car B? Uh, for car B, it's negative 0.187. Good. And what is it for car A? Positive 0.187. So just like... This group said they're the same number, but one's positive, one's negative. Are you getting the same idea here? All right. I don't know that that's a coincidence. We've seen it in two boards, but maybe it's a maybe it's because of their setup. All right. Let's see what this group over here did, and we'll we'll see if we can generalize. So, Will you guys demonstrate the oh, the, yeah. the car situation also? So this cart has the block on it. It has the block. Hold on. Yeah. All right, what do you got? Um, this cart has more weight on it because it's like a block on it, and then it's pushed into this cart, and they both move. Okay. So. That's so good. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's using kinetic energy in the beginning, so we found we use the kinetic energy formula, and we plug all the numbers we got on the RAM in, and got 0 0.12005 meters per second and then to find the car uh, so it's energy what is, what unit do we use for energy oh, joules joules yeah um and then to find car b it's staying still so it would be zero still so then it was all kinetic so then to find it after it hits we plug in um, the cart B and A, and then we get 0 0.072075 joules. And we found out that we lost some energy, so we must have lost it to thermal. So we subtracted that, and we got 0 0.047975 meters per second. Or joules. Either way is good. Yeah, joules. And then so I like this, right? Because your cars hit and crashed into each other hard, right? So it's okay that we lost some of our energy. Like that totally, that totally makes some sense. Um, so if you watch this though, car A hits and slows down, true? Mm -hmm. And car B was stationary and then sped up. So did you do the M delta V for each one? Yeah, for car A we got negative 0.18, and then car B we got 0 0.155. So you got positive 0 0.155 and negative 0.18. All right, so one's positive, one's negative. That's like what you guys got over here. Are they the same number? Are they close? I mean, this is the, this is the question. Like, we saw that they were equal and opposite here, equal and opposite here, opposite kind of close to equal. Okay? Well, let's look at another one. Okay, let's look at another one and let's see. Um, nicely done, by the way. Um, let's look at another one and let's see what the situation is here. Okay? All right, what did you guys do? Okay, so we did um, 
the demonstration where one card is steel and the other one hits the card that's steel and the steel card comes up. So like this. So what happens to the, the, the original card? It moves, but it like it's slower. Good. It hits, continues moving, but it's slower. Yes? Yeah. OK. And so we saw for the kinetic energy of the um, only moving card, and we got 0 0.13, 0 0.131 joules. And then we brought it over here. And, um, what? And then we saw for both the um, kinetic energy of A and B because this one is still moving. It's just moving slower than it was originally. And this one is moving fast. So we saw for both the kinetic energy. And for A, we got 0 0.013 joules. And for part B, we got 0 0.0998 joules. And we added up the two kinetic energies and got a total 0 0.1128. And we subtracted our total of the second, I mean of the final to the total of the initial, and we found out that there was 0 0.0182 joules of thermal energy taken out since there was a collision. Yeah, and your collision isn't as violent, right? Uh -huh. Like your collision is it's super gentle comparatively, right? Right? It's not like this super violent collision. So you guys only lost a little bit. All right, tell me about the M delta Vs. Okay, so then we did the M delta Vs, and for the first one, we got... Negative 0.346, and then we did the same thing for card B, and we got 0.316. So, again, one's positive, one's negative. It's like one is losing, that's the negative. The other one is gaining, that's the positive. Because one car slowed down, the other car sped up. True? So... Are they exactly equal? Are they close? Again, they're pretty close. Okay, again, they're pretty close. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see, we're going to try to guess, like, is this a rule we want to go with? Can we say that as one gains, the other loses? Because that's really what's happening here, right? Like, one of your cars slowed down, the other sped up. One of your cars slowed down, the other sped up. These groups over here were different, though, because one car sped up to the right, what happened to the other car? It sped up to the left. Okay? So we're going to pause for a second because I want to see what these boys are doing.